Nigerian government has tasked its citizens who skate through the Erasmus Plus scholarship to take advantage of the rich academic resources presented to them to foster ties between both countries. Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Education, David Adojo, gave the charge at the Erasmus Plus Pre-Departure Orientation Program for 135 Nigerian awardees on Wednesday in Abuja. He said it is an opportunity for them to build on their personal growth and intellectual understanding through robust learning while urging a collective effort to promote mutual understanding that will enhance international collaboration in all fields of their studies for economic growth. Academic excellence and innovation. Erasmus Plus is the European Union's flagship program for education, training, youth and sports for 2021 to 2027. It offered a range of opportunities for higher education students, staff and institutions from around the world, both for individuals and organizations. The essence is to build young ambassadors in different fields of study in order to promote intellectual capabilities for growth and productivity. This enormous opportunity has shaped the lives of about 800 Nigerians from the Erasmus Master's Study Program since 2014 and a total of 500 in the past four years. Speaking at the occasion, Nigerians' Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Education commended the initiative, adding that both countries have a shared perspective of providing excellent intellectual training geared towards curbing youth restiveness and unemployment in Nigeria. It therefore encourages the awardees to go and study and return back to build a productive society that the nation craves as their testament for hard work, dedication and exceptional academic abilities cannot be taken for granted. Encourage the exchange of knowledge and best practices among participants. It has also helped in facilitating social cohesion and international intercultural dialogue, as well as promoting mutual respect and tolerance. Earlier in our remarks, the European Union Ambassador to Nigeria and the ECOWAS, Samuela Isopi, said their aim is to eradicate poverty and insecurity through training and retraining, noting that in 2023 to 2027, the EU will be investing more than 45 million euros in grants to support basic education, especially in regions affected by insecurity in the path of the country. Nigeria to be number one in the world. Huh? That's our ambition. And we will work very hard for that to get there. Meanwhile, the Acting Executive Secretary of National Universities Commission, NUC, Chris Miyaki, reiterates that the awardees should see themselves as ambassadors and charge them to leverage building partnership to bring back economic opportunities into the country. Today, you have become an inseparable part of the global network of change makers. As indeed, you have been placed on a pedestal leading to the blossoming of new connections that would further enhance your educational and cultural horizons. Also, other speakers at events are the National President of Nigerian Students in Europe, Bashir Muhammad, the EU Africa Ambassador, Enyoluwa Adoluwa, and the beneficiaries gives insight on their successful application, even as they are urged to be of good behaviors and avoid dangling on incriminating activities to yield more opportunities. I implore you to uphold the value of integrity, respect, and discipline. Be aware, be vigilant, and be stay clear of activities that will tarnish our image. Young person, you need so much resilience to be able to say to yourself that I'm going to go against all odds and I'm going to make my life better and I'm going to beat the system. We need action, we need action plan. The last year I did not get it. I'm going to get it this time around. So those, those questions, 100 words, I put in my best and saw an email, I saw Erasmus Plus registration, I was like, wow, what is this? I opened it and I saw I had just been awarded. It's a dream for me actually to go to Europe and study. So while applying, because I applied the first time in 2021 and I had rejection, so I tried to build myself in, as in, with respect to what I wanted to apply for. 
So with that, I was able to pull through with my application. Nigeria is top in Africa and among the top five globally, together with Pakistan, India, Bangladesh and Brazil, to have been privileged in the highly competitive Erasmus Postgraduate Scholarship 2023. Vincent Okushin, QTV News, Abuja.